It's November 21st, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as nuclearproctologist.org. And you can find my videos and my Fukushima presentations at somewhere else besides YouTube from now on. And so starting in a couple of days, what we're going to do is we're going to move that stuff away. And... We're going to go alien on these friggers. That's what we're going to do. You got to think about how we covered the entire coastline of British Columbia, Canada in a Zodiac. We took 200,000 pictures. We went throughout um, 26,000 islands. We spent 260 days and at one year and we got the underwater footage. We got the whole documentation. And the whole coastline, like you're looking at right now, is missing. All of that is missing permanently. And why I say that is because the Pacific Ocean is supposed to have 5,600 species no matter where you go. Particularly that those pictures you're looking at is Louise Narrows. One of the most coveted places on the planet. And so, there's 4 million other species in that ocean they didn't receive the coastline. And so they've been demonized me at the Globe and Mail and CBC and Japanese Times, Japan Times, because that's the death row of the nuclear industry. And so I just want to give everybody a quick update on what happened um, November the 18th in my second appearance in court in Victoria, British Columbia. We traveled through 50 mile an hour winds, three ferries, and a long drive at the end of the day, not a long drive, but it was a 12 hour day before we finally got to our destination. Had a hotel that night, got up early the next morning, went and found the courthouse. We had to be in there by nine o'clock or they pick you up, take off with you again. We got there eight o'clock, about 10 or 15 minutes later, uh, Constable Steve Crooks, who actually filed the charges against me, uh, showed up and was lurking around. At two minutes to nine, when I was supposed to be in front of the judge, my name still was not on the screen at the top uh, when you go into, like when you go into the courts in Canada or anywhere else I would imagine, big TV screens and they got all your names and the judges and the, and the place you're supposed to be. And so my name wasn't there and I just had traveled 12 hours, two days to get there on the second day and a long way to get back home and through adverse conditions. And so... I'm panicking, nobody knows me, who I am, or anything about my case, like I don't exist. And then this police officer is lurking around, introduces himself to us as Constable Steve Crooks from Sandage Police Department. And he, he asked me to have a lawyer, I said no. And that was his first question. He said, are you Dana? And of course, I said, yeah. He said, um, do you have a lawyer? I said, no. He said, do you want to come down to the police department and do a video interview and I said, no, I want to go see the judge before they throw me in jail. And I said, I don't know what's going on here. And he said, well, I didn't file it with the courts. And so he asked me again that I wanted to come down to the Victoria Police Station. I said, no. And that this was ridiculous. And then he walked away and said, he'll go see the judge and get me in to see the judge. And so they got me down there in order to try to get me in the police department for some reason. And so on trumped up charges... Now, just before that, he had told me he watched 500 hours of my video. 500 hours of my video, but he only had a couple of sentences out of all of that that dragged me into court. And that he didn't even drag me into court, he dragged me down there to go down and now try to drag me down to a police station. Who knows what they would do to you after filing these false charges, these erroneous charges, these outrageous, demented charges meant to take down 300 of my one-hour presentations on YouTube. And so this was really interesting. This was an abnormality for me in every sense of the word. And um, he got me in front of a judge. And then the judge set a date for December the 16th to have a lawyer. Uh, but when I left, we had another confrontation. And that was only because of his arrogance. And he said uh, I wasn't allowed... I wasn't allowed to call for the hanging in of anybody in Canada. And I said, well, you didn't put the other sentence in, did you? And I said, when the judge hears that, you ain't got a leg to stand on, do you? And he said, well, you still can't call for hangings in Canada. I said, well, lucky for Canadians, you don't get that last word now, do you? 
and so it looks like I'm in a lot of trouble. It looks like these people are, are really twisted people. And what happened was, it's just a short video, what happened was Woods Holes security worked in tandem with the FBI to put me on a terrorist list. And then they used that with the Canadian Sandage Police Department in Victoria through Constable Steve Crux. And they used the, these draconian laws without a warrant to coerce, not hurt, I'm sure, Google, YouTube, to censor me. And so they've been censoring me on YouTube for quite a long time. They claimed they didn't know who I was and they couldn't figure out who I was, yet they watched 500 videos of me and found two sentences that they found offensive. But where if you listen to the whole context of the video, the one-hour presentations, instead of just typing it out and giving it to somebody, it's ludicrous to accuse me of saying the things that they're accusing me. And that the media in British Columbia has claimed I'm making death threats when I'm charged with criminal harassment. They say I'm charged with death threats, but I'm not. And because I can't go into great detail, I can tell you that stuff there. But that they had set me up and they took away my freedoms without a court order, found two sentences and tried to use that to justify everything else they have already done to me for the last... They've been stalking me for a year and a half, stalking me, constantly on me. And the transcript shows that the people that were telling all the lies I'm accused of that I can't mention their names from Woods Hole and Uvic of British Columbia were stalking every one of my videos, looking, and they would contact the police and said he's going to do another video and, and, and he's going to criticize us in particular. And that was a crime, according to them, and that warrant them draconian uh, outrageous. Now, they not only violated all my civil rights, but I want them these people to understand that in 2007, Supreme Court, on October the 4th, Supreme Court voted 6-3, to three, you can sue a police officer in Canada. And so, I can assure you that what you're doing to me is not going to go unchallenged. And what you're trying to do all the Canadians to all the activists on the planet is use me as a bludgeoning tool to coerce them in self-censorship by using me and demonize me throughout Canada and the media and trying to ridicule me and marginalize me and victimize me. You've done a really good job of it. But let me get something straight. I'll be streaming on three sites every day, seven days a week, in a couple of days when I get the kinks out of this system. And I know the audio is not great, but trust me, it's going to get a lot better. And I just wanted to update everybody that we are in the fight of our life. This is the opportunity. This is the time to put your feet to my shoulders and keep me straight and push me through this whole system. And I need your support. It's not a game. They have me restricted with 12 restrictions. And they're going to use this to take away you and your loved one's freedoms on top of that. And that they have no moral compass whatsoever. And that their arrogance is their own undoing. And that we now have them on the ropes. And don't let's make sure we keep them on the ropes. Please support me. You can support me at the nuclearproctologist.org where we have the documentation of everything that I'm talking about. you got to take it into context that... The 5,600 species, the 5,600 species that should be on that shoreline, that's up in the Louise Narrows where I took uh, 3,000 pictures, it was one of the most coveted places in Canada. That that shoreline, and any shoreline throughout Canada would have the 5,600 species. Berkeley Sound on the west coast of Vancouver Island would have another 1,800 species. And they're all gone. We documented that in 15,000 miles, 260 days of uh, five expeditions on the coastline of British Columbia. And now we got to go to battle again because the very people that have been hiding this now have used enormous powers to stop us. And it's time to put an end to it. This is our time. You got to take it into consideration how many lies they told you about Unit 4. They showed you the picture. These are two official pictures. And he said, the one on the left and the one on the right are the same. But how can you have one inside the other when we're talking about nuclear reactors that melted down? You still can't get into Chernobyl. Don't let these people get away with this. You've got to support me. I'm calling up on everybody. Please put your back to the wall for me. Have faith in Dana. We'll be streaming in a couple of days on three sites. It won't be YouTube. I'm not giving up. I'm not going away. I ain't slowed down. It's just I had to get the kinks out of this software so I could come out and tell you something because they killed every one of my computers, nine of them in the last year and a half. And anybody who knows me knows 
knows I'm coming back. I'm coming back swinging, and you know it's game on from here on out. You can't hide the death of the Pacific Ocean. Three hundred and thirty-seven whales died in Chile, and two hundred in February in New Zealand. We had three whales in Bella Bella a couple of days ago. They all starved to death because there's no krill. All the big whales that are dying are the krill. They made me take down 300 presentations, including the ones about the whales, the one-hour presentations with all the documentation, and now they're trying to silence me and destroy me, and they're doing that publicly through the media, and I have no choice to come out and ask Canadians and everybody to support me. I don't think you understand the 900-pound gorilla I got on my back all day long. It is overwhelming in every sense of the word and that we got no options anymore but to go to battle against these creatures and ignore the trolls. Ignore the trolls. Ignore all the little critters out there and all things Dana will be for the better right now. You got to put your back behind Dana. They got me in the barrel and they're trying to fire me deep into that ocean and bury me. I'm doing everything I can and I'll continue to do it and we'll come out this one on top and we'll have hopefully find a way forward after this. But if they take me out, we're all going to fall together. It's, we all stand together or we all hang separately. I can't say it enough. I got to have support from Canadians throughout Canadians and Americans and everybody on this planet. This is the stepping stone. This is the way forward. There's no way they're going to beat us if we stand our ground. But if not, they're going to get rid of me and everybody else by proxy. Hugs for everybody. You don't have to lash out to these people. we got to put her back to the water wall and take them through the justice system. So you can support me at PayPal or at Nuclear Proctologist. The PayPal is Dana Durnford at Hotmail.com. i got to ask. i got no options. we got to keep pushing, and we're doing the right thing, and we're winning as far as I can tell. They're... You know, why didn't they have me in front of the judge? Why did they try to drag me down to the police department? Why did they watch 500 hours of my videos where I laid out my case and then asked me to drag, come down to the police department? When I laid out, they watched 500 hours. There is my case. And so they're not willing to play fair. And we need we need the help of everybody out there that can help us. It's all I can say right now. I'll get the kinks out of the audio on this in a few days. We'll be upstream on three different sites. I'll come up on YouTube, make sure everybody can find us. And then we abandon YouTube for what I'm doing there because I can't stream. I will post the videos there, but I don't have faith in it anymore. We don't know what they're doing to me. They'll continue to do to me. And then we got to find out what they've done 100% and make sure they're not doing that to everybody else. Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. Please support me at the nuclearproctologist.org and that beautiful girl by Dana. We'll do an update in a couple of days.